Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Gibson, and I want to talk to you today about the next test, the second test that is often done for autonomic neuropathy called the pseudomotor skin test, the pseudomotor test. Uh, this is different than the QSART in that the following, instead of stimulating sweat release or chlorine ion release, what the sympathetic skin test or the sympathetic pseudomotor test is doing is it's using an electrical current to measure, measure the changes in skin resistance um, that will sometimes cause sweating, but really it's testing the, the skin resistance to determine if you have a small fiber or autonomic sensory neuropathy. There's autonomic neuropathy. So you have a small fiber sensory neuropathy or an autonomic neuropathy. This is another important test. A lot of times what we do is we do a combination of the QSART test and the pseudomotor test to determine the probability of autonomic neuropathy. Um, if they both come back as probable, then we know that they have an autonomic neuropathy. Therefore, we can actually treat the autonomic neuropathy and we can watch for other symptoms that could be problematic, including blood pressure problems, um, digestion problems, and so forth. So two tests for autonomic peripheral neuropathy. The QSART test that we talked about yesterday and the pseudomotor test that we talked about today, one is causing chlorine ions to be released or sweat to be released, the QSART. The other is measuring resistance of the skin to see how well the muscles are reacting, and that's the pseudomotor test. This is Dr. Grant Gibson, and this is your Neuropathy Nugget, day 257, pseudomotor testing for peripheral neuropathy. This is Dr. Grant Gibson. Have a great